All right, y'all. Here we are in the camp of Mr. Warren and Jody Singer. We had a blast this weekend. What an awesome camp. Awesome camp y'all have here. Uh, all the everything you ever want to see. It's got the view on the Gulf, the fish skin in place, the boats down the road. We had a great time. A beautiful place. And I want to thank y'all for inviting us out here. And we good, had a good time at the tournament. Y'all built this camp. Uh, 2004, we got finished with it. We started on it in 2001. Really nice, y'all. It's like a, a mansion on the island out here. It's really, really cool. Now, you've been coming out here since the 70s, huh? Yeah, about and 75 was when I started fishing Grand Isle in Fouchon. And Grand Isle has changed since then. It's changed dramatically. And one of the things that really strikes me, uh, Rodney, is whenever I started coming down here, you get on top of the Fouchon Bridge, and as far as you can see, it's sawgrass. It's just it was the most gorgeous thing, and you catch that, that salt breeze coming in. Yeah. And now, here, 40 years later, you come across that bridge, and all you see is open water yeah. everywhere. The, almost all the grass is gone. The islands are ruined away. A lot of blame's been placed on whose fault it is and what it, you know, what happened. But the major thing that, you know, uh, we want to focus on is what we can do about it. And yeah. The Louisiana Wildlife Federation uh, is a major. A federation of uh, a lot of little small groups around the, the state that all come together for common causes and one of the big causes that got us involved in is their push for the coastal master plan to find a way to rebuild to stop the erosion get this thing going again yeah we got to regroup we got to regroup we got we got to look at the new science we have to uh, come together there's a lot of disparate groups that are kind of fighting over their piece of turf and how it's going to come but we all have to just learn to pull together for the common cause of saving coastal Louisiana. And that's something LWF does. They fight it in the legislature. They work with other scientists. They work with other groups. Everybody pulling for the common cause of coastal restoration. National Wildlife Federation is a major supporter of Louisiana Wildlife Federation. They fund some of our work to help us with a coastal outreach coordinator to get someone out there to talk to these groups and explain what yeah. has to be done. So we are, we're, we're seeing it you know, coming together. We're, we still have a money crunch, you know, there's right. a lot of money that needs to be put into this thing that we're trying to find federally. And we hope that, you know, that uh, governors and, and legislators in other parts of the country will, will realize how critical Louisiana is for the marine, marine estuaries, you know, as far right. as our seafood, but also it's a major port for oil and gas coming in. We have to protect this. I mean, we supply a major portion of oil and gas to the rest of the country. And some of the erosion we're, we're getting is the result of going after that and getting it ashore and getting it to where people can use it. So we've dug a lot of canals and we're, you know, and then the sea comes in and it starts eroding. And there goes the land. Pretty soon the land's gone, you know. Uh, from year to year I come down here, I, you know, we fish all summer, I go hunting, come back in the spring and I'm learning new spots to go fish just from, you know, six months or four months of being away. They've disappeared. My little islands are gone. My points are gone. I'm running over on my GPS is land and I'm running right over the top of it in wow. my bay boat and it's not even there. So it's, it's, a, it's a terrible problem. It has to be stopped or else we're going to wind up, you know, New Orleans is going to be threatened. Right. Home is going to be threatened. We're going to lose so much down here. We've already lost over in the Venice area. We've lost all those bays that were, you know, that I fished 15 years ago are gone now. Uh, Yellow Cotton Bay and um, uh, Bay Jacques and, and all these places, they're not even listed by no way anymore as existing. Wow. Because it's open shore, I mean, open sea right up to the, to the road. That's amazing. It, it's terrible. It's amazing. Well, we've got to do something. Yep. Our yep. grandkids and kids, there'll be nothing here. Absolutely. It'll be a, a big golf. It's so, going to be a big old golf. So that's what we're doing, y'all. Y'all support the Louisiana Wildlife Federation Coastal Master Plan. Uh, we're hoping that our new governor will get behind it and, and support this Coastal Master Plan and get something done. All right. And I want to thank y'all again for inviting us over here for the well, Grand Isle Rodeo. Man, that's good you. stuff. That was good stuff. Was a lot of fun. It was a great time. <laughs>